I'd have to honestly say it's hard to talk about, but um, I remember still lying in bed trying to wake up and seeing my mother standing in the doorway outside my bedroom in the hall light and a big red spot down the front of her that looked like a, Scott, a, a Santa cap or something, just big. And I finally woke up enough, got out of bed and went into the bedroom and there was blood on the floor and blood on the bed and mom had rolled over to the far side of the bed and was talking on the phone. And she called the police and, and that's when I took the phone. And Again, I was half asleep, half, half conscious and I, I remember them showing up in the, the doorway and the intruder, and I had my hands on his hands, you know, just fighting like anyone would, let go of me and dropped me and turned around towards them. And of course, I, my, you know, half asleep, my eyes closed again and wake back up and, and that's when I saw mom standing there. So I didn't see a big scuffle in that sense. Okay. Well, yeah, I got down the bottom of the stairs and was just turning the corner and sat down on the floor when the police knocked on the front door. So I turned around, opened the front door, let them in. And of course, they just came crashing in and took over everything. I still didn't know what was happening, didn't know what was going on. Um, I, I don't, you know, I can look back as an adult and philosophize about it, but I don't think a child of eight understands all of that and is not in an emotional state to uh, react the way a, you know an adult would. An adult sees something like that, they're going to be a lot more emotional, uh, more taking control of, whatever, right. but a child just kind of standing there going, I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. Uh, I don't know how many days or, or weeks it was, you know, I've been in, in interviews and, and in interrogations over and over again and talking and, and they, at one point they said, look, we cannot find any footprints. We cannot find any fingerprints. The house was all locked. We can't find a weapon. Your story doesn't make any sense. And if you don't tell us what we want to hear, you're not going to go back to Orem to see your family ever again. And they had said this repeatedly and repeatedly. Uh, this one day I remember sitting in the, in the detective's offices and it was me and two detectives and nobody else. He was questioned 12 hours before any of us got there. Yeah. And and I mean, at one point uh, later on, he sa I said, why did you say that when it isn't the truth? He said, well, they told me my dad said I did it. What a thing to tell a child that's in shock from seeing both his parents killed. Basically, I told him that... He said he guessed his spirit did it. Yeah, I, I must have got up in the middle of the night and my spirit left my body and, and went and did this. Obviously, I didn't do it, and everybody in the family knows that. And if anyone asked, that that was the answer that was given. It was the police that made this whole situation into something. And I don't think it was even a day or two later when I, from what I've read in the articles, totally recanted the, the whole confession yeah. thing all over again. Mm -hmm. It was like, no, I didn't well, do it. You just made me say that, you know.